Sanjay Vinayak, co-founder and chief executive officer, Connect and Heal India Private Limited. So we shoot away primary care as a country 30 years back. And we started depending upon hospitals to provide us primary care. And that, I think, has made the Indian healthcare very, very unstable. Um, but thanks to COVID, uh, in March 2020, um, I think the only way out for the Indian population at large was to essentially um, resort to telemedicine, uh, because that was the only access one had to your doctors. Most of the doctors were general physicians, and they basically started coming back into your life as your first port of call when patients or customers were hit by COVID. I think for the last 10 or 12 years, we've seen India emerge as the startup capital of the world. Um, we've seen um, a whole range of entrepreneurs um, basically mushroom in every part of this country. Um, I think there was, there was a phase where everybody was gunning for fintech. There was a phase when everybody was trying to solve multiple problems, be it e-commerce, quick delivery, et cetera, et cetera. Um, COVID brought in a whole set of entrepreneurs who wanted to solve healthcare problems. And I think that was a very, very uh, welcome scenario, right? Because healthcare is, COVID really brought in multiple problems which we all faced. Um, and I think Today, we, we have more than 200 startups, and everybody is trying to solve uh, multiple problems. Uh, Connect and Heal is essentially focused on bringing back the entire primary healthcare system for a household, from pediatrics to geriatrics. Um, I think the government has essentially provided a lot of uh, good incentives um, in form of uh, in form of capital reliefs, tax reliefs for startups, um, can they do more? Yes, absolutely. I think we need um, a very specific uh, uh, startup for a, a, a government-sponsored startup cell to promote innovation in healthcare because I think that's that's needed the most. I think one of the major challenges uh, I faced as an entrepreneur in health tech is basically the lack of thesis which investors have in healthcare. Um, while I don't completely blame them for the simple reason that um, healthcare is challenging, making money in healthcare in a country where, uh, for example, primary healthcare is just about taking shape, uh, what is the right business model? Um, and, and many more challenges. And at the end of the day, um, I don't blame VCs because they are also basically caretakers of and, and are responsible for giving returns to, the, to their investors. So how can government play a very important role? I think government has clearly demonstrated by setting up the NIIF as a fund of funds, right? I think it's high time that we divert a certain part or a certain um, uh, capital allocation be made by NIIF towards only healthcare because I think that's extremely needed to kick off this much needed investment in healthcare. Um, while most of the health tech startups are basically trying to best solve multiple problems where each one of them is going to face challenge is lack of capital and therefore the government now needs to step in and give that much needed capital to the entire health tech industry. So I think general physician is fundamental to any healthcare ecosystem. Let's look at our country, India. Um, I think we had a very robust primary healthcare system, uh, which was partly supported by the government. And they were basically, um, if I may use the word mom and pop, general physicians, um, clinics in every single locality in India. Uh, somewhere 30 years back, I think um, the entire healthcare ecosystem completely changed. General physicians just completely disappeared. Um, what also happened 
was hospitals started mushrooming in every urban, in every locality in the country. Uh, so I think, um, as I see it, the general physicians basically gave up their private practices and started getting employed or absorbed by these hospitals. Um, and suddenly the entire system was deprived of general physicians. A um, lot of people talk about having lost trust in, in the general physician. Was the quality of the general physicians bad? No, I don't think so. The general physicians were of poor quality. I think the lack or the ability to access these general physicians basically was the key reason why the trust was lost. Uh, let's just very quickly move forward. 30 years later, COVID happens and brings back that general physician in the forefront. Uh, when COVID stuck in 2020, uh, it was basically left to telemedicine and thanks to the government of India, telemedicine guidelines were announced in March 2020 and general physicians and all the doctor communities were available to, to cater to, to the patient's needs, right? Because it was the need of the hour. Um, technology suddenly came into play into healthcare, right? Uh, this was the first time when both general physicians, doctors and the patients were all comfortable talking to each other on online. American Heal was formed in 2016 and this was basically something which um, I became very interested um, when I was doing a project for Johns Hopkins um, as, as, a, um, as a banker. We were trying to do project finance for Johns Hopkins Hospital which was setting up a teaching hospital um, in Malaysia. And that's basically where uh, we realized that primary healthcare is an extremely important part of any healthcare system in any country. Um, when I look back into my own country, India, I realized that we had shooed away primary healthcare 30 years back. And that was something which basically got stuck in my head. Um, so I decided to move out of my comfort zone and start Connect and Heal, essentially to bring back the good old family doctor back into every single household. Connect and Heal is basically an integrated one-stop shop for your entire primary and preventive healthcare needs. Um, when we set up this company, we realized that customer acquisition is going to be extremely, extremely critical for our survival. And therefore, we went down a very, very unique and different path. We decided to go down the path of acquiring cohorts rather than acquiring individuals. Um, what are the best cohorts? Do we solve this primary healthcare problem for the entire country? Do we want to be everything for everyone? No, we decided that we wanted to be everything for someone and therefore we decided to target the top 40 million households in India. And most of these households were essentially salaried employees. We therefore decided to go down the path of doing our customer acquisition from employers.